in the world history episode you said the turkic invasions and occupation of india resulted in 500 million deaths but the historian k s lal in one of his works estimated that 60 to 80 million people lost their lives due to wars famines and massacres this is slightly confusing can you please explain all right good question good question so the thing is no no historian has actually done a proper analysis of how many people died during the turkic invasions so any figures any numbers that anybody including me gives are at best educated guesses right so we know that the british occupied india for about two and a half centuries right and we know that they killed at least 100 million indians at least so in two centuries let's let's make it easier to calculate two centuries 100 million deaths just to keep it simple roughly it means half a million people in it means half a million people uh, per 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 year is it 200 years 100 so in one century 50 million people so every year it's 5 million people a uh, half a million so if there is the death toll of half a million people per year then in two centuries you will have 100 million deaths okay so I think the Turks were much more brutal than the British. But even if we were to apply the same kind of mathematics to the Turkic occupation, and you had, let's say, five centuries, then that comes to at least 250 million deaths deaths by starvation. And we know that there were lots of famines during the Turkic times as well. And then you had the wholesale slaughters and massacres, etc. So I would actually give the figure of about about 1 million deaths per year of the Turkic occupation it, across the entire geography, geography of India, which is an entire subcontinent. So that figure of 1 million deaths per year is actually quite conservative, given the brutality of the Turks and the, and the kind of uh, massacres that they have recorded. I mean, their historians and chroniclers have gleefully recorded the kind of atrocities they perpetrated. So if you give what, if you assume the figure of 1 million deaths per year, and they were in power for over five centuries, then it gives you a figure of 500 million. So this is an educated guess. It's an estimate. Nobody has tried to properly uh, try and reconstruct the events. But I think 500 million itself is a conservative estimate. I think there could have been more. And you would say that how is it possible 500 million? India's population was 300 million at at a given time. I am talking about the cumulative death toll of five centuries or more. Right. So even if one person die, one million people died per year over five hundred million year, uh, five hundred years, you have five hundred million deaths. So that is the kind of rough guesswork you have to do because there are no official figures available. But we know that this is the worst genocide ever perpetrated in the history of humanity. This is what we know. So that's how I arrived at this rough estimate of five hundred million deaths. I think this is a conservative estimate. I think the actual number would exceed. 500 million deaths over the entire period of the Turkic invasions and occupation of India, which initially started around 700 CE and continued until the 16th century and further. So I think 500 million is actually an underestimate.